Hey guys, it's Belle and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I just arrived in Dead Man's Key, population of 328, including some goats and some chickens here and there. I am on Long Island in the Bahamas, which is one of the 700 islands here. Why am I here? I am going to free dive in the second deepest underwater blue hole in the world. Only on one breath. Wish me luck. Okay, so Luke, now that you hold the world record for spearing a Kubera snapper, what's next on your spearing bucket list? Well, any of the top challenges for spear fishermen. So the dog tooth tuna is like the one particular species that is the, the challenge of all challenges. I mean, you have to travel to remote parts of the world, dive in the most extreme conditions, and then be skilled enough to get close enough to these fish for a shot. And particularly on a pole spear, it's going to be the ultimate challenge for a spear fisherman. So the dog tooth tuna is definitely the goal to get on a pole spear. You grew up here in the beautiful Bahamas, Long Island. What makes it so great for spear fishing and free diving? Um, it's a combination of everything. I mean, the fact that we have the Dean's Blue Hole here on Long Island, it's probably the best free dive training platform in the world. I mean, you literally drive to the beach, you walk off the sand into 600 feet of water Jeez. in a beautiful, confined, little protected cove, flat calm, and a lot of times they'll have the platform out here and the ropes and you can just, you can push your limits in the most protected and serene environment. It's a huge island with not a lot of population, so I mean, there's so many places out there that are untouched for spear fishing. There's great fishing. There's good hunting in the land. I mean that the adventure just goes on and on. <laughs> yeah. You also hold the Bahamian National Freediving record at an incredible 190 feet on a single breath here at Dean's Blue Hole. Can you take us through that actual dive and what you were thinking or not trying to think? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's funny, it was William Truebridge that inspired me to want to come and compete. I had never never really given it any thought towards the free diving competitions. I know they had hosted them here before and I had attended and kind of watched. Um, but I never really thought about participating until William had mentioned that, you know, Luke, why don't you consider competing? We host this tournament here in the Bahamas and we don't have a Bahamian representative. So it'd be nice for somebody to come in and do it. 
And I figured, yeah, that's a good point. You know, yeah. why not <laughs> come in and be able to train with some of the best in the world and push my limits in a safe environment with the good medical team watching and mm -hmm. get some records for the Bahamas. That's awesome. So that was the goal and it kind of followed up to a story that goes, you know, years in the past as well with my little brother that I lost here and he was very passionate with the freediving. Mm -hmm. He was a better freediver than me and I know that he would have taken on that role as a, the Bahamian record holder. He was, he was such a good freediver. He loved coming here and training all the time. And for me, it kind of gives me a sense of accomplishment, you know, filling in his footsteps with that, mm -hmm. you know, taking on the role that he would have done. Yeah. So, it's a, it's a yeah. good accomplishment. It's nice in that to sense be able me. to do that for him. You yeah. Know? Aww, yeah. That's beautiful. Well, thank you so much. We've had such an incredible time spearfishing and freediving with you. Yeah. You know, you helped me spear my first hawkfish and grouper. Congrats. So thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> Big accomplishment. And yeah, I look forward to spearing with you again. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome.